The Christ Bearer Saint Christopher was a Canaanite of giant stature. He had a great strength, but he did not know how to use it for good. He wandered from place to place, looking for a master who could teach him the meaning of life. He served many kings and lords, but he found them all to be weak and wicked. He was disappointed and restless, and he longed for something more. One day, he met a hermit who told him about Christ, the King of Kings, who had died and risen for the salvation of the world. Christopher was intrigued by this story, and he asked the hermit how he could serve Christ. The hermit told him to use his strength to help the weak and the poor, especially those who wanted to cross a nearby river, which was deep and dangerous. Christopher agreed to do this, and he built a hut near the river. He carried a long staff, and he offered to ferry anyone who needed his help. He did this for many days, and he felt a new joy and peace in his heart. He felt that he was doing something good and noble, and he hoped that he would someday meet Christ and see his face. One night, he heard a voice calling him from the other side of the river. It was a child, who asked him to carry him across the water. Christopher went to the child, and he lifted him on his shoulders. He then started to walk across the river, holding his staff for support. But as he walked, he felt a strange sensation. The child became heavier and heavier, as if he was carrying the weight of the world. Christopher struggled and groaned, and he felt that he was going to sink. He wondered who this child was, and why he was so heavy. He prayed to Christ for help, and he continued to walk. He finally reached the other side, and he put the child down. He looked at him, and he saw a radiant light shining from his face. He realized that this was no ordinary child, but the Son of God himself. He fell on his knees, and he worshipped him. The child smiled, and he said to him, Christopher, you have done well. You have carried me, the King of Kings, across the river. You have carried the weight of the world, and you have not given up. You have shown great faith and love, and you have pleased me. From now on, you shall be called Christopher, which means Christ-bearer. You shall be my servant and my friend, and you shall be blessed. Christopher was amazed and grateful, and he thanked the child. He asked him to stay with him, and to teach him more about his kingdom. The child agreed, and he stayed with Christopher for a while. He taught him many things, and he gave him a mission. He told him to go and spread the good news of his love and mercy to all. The Nations he told him to be a witness and a martyr for his name. He told him to be a light and a hope for the world. Christopher obeyed, and he left his hut. He traveled to many lands, and he preached the gospel of Christ. He performed many miracles, and he converted many people. He also faced many persecutions, and he suffered for his faith. He was faithful and courageous, and he never denied his Lord. He was the Christ-bearer, and he was the saint.